Hey, what's up everybody? It's Quick Timing here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today guys, I'm going to show you the new single player to multiplayer glitch. This pretty much allows you guys to get any vehicle from single player all the way over to multiplayer and then once it's in multiplayer, you can do pretty much whatever you want with it, like whether you want to insure it, put it in your garage, sell it, whatever you want to do with it, it's entirely up to you from then on out. Alright guys, so before we get into this video, if you guys could drop a like rating on the video, that would be greatly appreciated. And also a huge thank you to Freaky World Gaming, he's the one who's provided me with the gameplay for this video, so go check out his channel if you guys want to see some more GTA 5 content. Besides that guys, let's get on with the video and I'll show you guys exactly how you guys can do this really cool glitch. To start this off, what you guys want to do is start on the PlayStation or the Xbox dashboard. I believe this is 100% working for PlayStation. As for Xbox, I'm not entirely sure because my friend Freaky Wild has not managed to test it on Xbox yet. But you guys will just have to let me know in the comment section if this works for Xbox as well. So you want to start on the PS3 or Xbox dashboard. Once you've done that, you want to start up GTA 5. Now, make sure you guys actually start up an online session. You can do this by pressing X or A when prompted to do so. Make sure you guys do not start on Story Player as this may mess up the glitch. Once you have loaded into online, you want to hold down on the D-pad and switch to Franklin. Once you've done that, you guys want to get your desired vehicle of choice, which you want to bring into multiplayer. You can only bring in one vehicle each time you do this glitch, so yeah, only bring one vehicle along. Once you've done that, you guys want to drive it directly to Los Santos. You then want to pull out your phone and make a quick save. Once you've done that, hold down on the D-pad and switch to an online character. Once you've made your quick save though, make sure you guys give it a few seconds to make sure everything synchronizes and everything doesn't glitch out or anything. So, once you've made your quick save guys, go to your online character by using the D-pad. Alright guys, so once you're online, press start and then leave GTA Online. So you should now be back into single player. You now want to load up your game save in single player and then you want to drive into Los Santos Custom and then wait for 30 seconds once you've driven inside of Los Santos Customs just to make sure everything is loaded in correctly and nothing glitches out once again. So once you've waited for 30 seconds in Los Santos, you want to press start, go to online and then play GTA online and then choose a closed friends session, a closed friend session. Make sure you guys choose this. If you do not choose a closed friend session, unfortunately this glitch may mess up once again. So make sure you guys listen to these important parts of the video. Now that you've loaded into your closed friend session, you guys want to press start and head over to the Xbox or the PlayStation Game Store. You should then once again wait a couple of seconds for everything to load up. Once all the shot cards have loaded up, you want to wait for 5 seconds. Then exit Game Store and you will spawn inside Los Santos Customs in multiplayer with that vehicle that you had in single player. So that's it guys, it's actually really really easy but it does have quite a few steps and if you guys want a text version of this, I'll put it in the description or most likely the comment section of this video. So that's pretty much everything guys. Thank you for watching the video. If you guys did enjoy it, please do drop a thumbs up. And if you guys want more glitch videos, then hey, I've got loads on my channel. Go check them out. And also there'll be lots more glitch videos in the future. So subscribe for more GTA 5 online content. Besides that guys, have a great day and peace out.